I want to talk about people that take YouTube way too serious. Hey, listen, man. Man, I'm fucking pissed. I'm fucking pissed. Now, I've seen this several times throughout my two and a half years on YouTube, and I think it's a problem that needs to be dealt with, and it's something that uh, that's not a healthy thing, and it's not a healthy way to be in your life. Fuck that. Jerk off, motherfuckers. What happens is, is a lot of these guys get caught up into YouTube. You know, I put a lot of time and energy and half my life into this goddamn channel, and you guys are think I'm supposed to sit here and do this for nothing? Okay, so here's what happens. You find this with a lot of people that don't have a lot going on in their own life. Uh, they start to transition to the point to where to them, YouTube feels like their life, and in reality, in their own world, that kind of gets put on the back burner. Everything slows down in that aspect, and that's not a good way to be. You know, I put a lot of time and energy and half my life into this goddamn channel, and you guys think I'm supposed to sit here and do this for nothing? Man, I'm fucking pissed. I'm fucking pissed. They're not famous. They're not like a movie actor or anything. And to even think that is just silly. It's just, it's ridiculous. Man, I'm fucking pissed. I'm fucking pissed. What happens is, is these guys end up working their lives around YouTube. And what I mean by this is it's kind of like the family, the children kind of takes a back seat. And this free upload forum starts to become the front runner in their life because it's like a drug because this is what they do they click on YouTube and they go through their comments and it says oh great channel I love your new gun this is what they do well it doesn't take long before that starts to come down then when that starts to come down, they got to get it again. Let me get back on there. Let me get back on there. Oh, this is the greatest channel on YouTube. Could you give me a shout out? I love everything you do. You're the best channel I've ever seen. <sighs> that ought to last me for a little bit. Man, I'm fucking pissed. I'm fucking pissed. Okay, now I'm out of stuff to review. I'm out of things to make videos on. I gotta get something going any way I can. I've gotta spend money, I've gotta borrow money. I've gotta get something to get something new so I can get those praises that I have to have in my life from YouTube. What can I do now? What can I buy? Hey guys, Mike here, welcome back. I just got a text message from a good friend and I kid you not, the text message said, look at this dickhead's video. So, I did what I had to do, finished eating dinner, and I went and I looked at this guy's video. And it was a video about Ballastol and how he slathers it all over his guns before he puts them into like a long term storage. Welcome, thanks for tuning in. This video is all about what I do to preserve my firearms. As you'll see right here, Take a close look. They're lubed up with Ballastol, and they've been lubed up for about 20 minutes. I'm purposely doing the video this way to show you exactly what I do prior to putting them into the vaults. And in my opinion, it was the most irresponsible video I've ever seen, so I want to educate you guys into the right way and the wrong way on how to store your firearms, okay? Now the guy was using Ballastol, like I said. Let's take a close look at a Ballastol can. Please zoom in. Okay, now we know it lubricates and it penetrates, and we know it cleans and protects. Well, protect is, is the key word here. That's what I'm trying to do, is preserve and stop rusting. If you turn the can over and you read the first line, it says, 
firearms cleans and dissolves traces of copper, lead, brass, and zinc. Now, I recently called this guy because he had put up a video of him slathering this stuff all over his gold-plated pistol. Man, I'm fucking pissed. I'm fucking pissed. And I don't endorse this guy. Honestly, I don't even like him. But I had his number, and I called him, and I said, look, you do not want to slather ballistol all over a gold leaf gun. This stuff will eat all soft metal, including gold, okay, and copper. So if you have a firearm like this one with gold leaf on it, okay, this is a Colt 1911 anniversary edition only 750 made I will be doing a video on it and as you can see it's got gold leaf all over it do not use ballistol on any firearm that has gold leaf on it man I'm fucking pissed I'm fucking pissed howdy folks I'm Tex Grabner with Tex Grabner <laughs>